Hey guys, welcome, Austin here, and today we are in Beacon Hill, which is a community on the south side of Seattle. Now, the house that we're gonna be looking at today has been completely updated, completely remodeled, and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, this house was built in the 1950s, 1953. It's a three bed, three bathroom house. It's a little over 2,000 square feet, and it's currently listed at $950,000. Now, I wanted to give a special thank you to Peter Greeley of Agency One for allowing us to tour this home today. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the tour. All right, guys, here we are in Beacon Hill. We'll look at the neighborhood area over here. They have walking trails uh, down over that direction. And yeah, so this one was built in the 1950s. They did pretty much everything. Uh, landscaping is all new. They put in, it looks like they put in new sod. It does have a one car garage, a bit of a slope to get down there. And then, yeah, it really has good curb appeal. It's the nice paint color. They painted over the brick, they put a new roof on. And they also put up a really cool fence as well. We'll check that out in the backyard area when we go there. Now there are two levels here. Uh, the main level, which is what we're walking up a few stairs to get into. And then there's a lower level, which is kind of like a basement, fully finished. Okay, and then here we are on the interior. Oops. So they put in new flooring, new paint, um, windows are new, uh, the, the, uh, all the baseboards and all the millwork is all new as well. It does have a wood burning fireplace. It doesn't look like it's in use or set up really to be used, but it does look like it has one. And for the kitchen, they put in really nice uh, cabinets. I like the color that they picked. Uh, stainless steel farmhouse sink and uh, have some stuff in there but the hardware is really nice the oops, sorry we've got a little stuff in here but I was going to try to see I always try to see who the brand is of the cabinet company uh, stainless steel appliances so dishwashers of Samsung and not sure what this one is twin cooling so Samsung as well. I've seen a few of these recently, so these must be pretty in right now. And then Smart Things is the brand of this range. Um, it is an electric stove top. When we walk around the exterior of the property, I think that that means that there's no gas here is my guess. Um, we'll come out and check the backyard at the end of the tour. Uh, subway towel for the backsplash and then we'll come back here there's a downstairs area there uh, but up here we have uh, two bedrooms and this would be considered the primary suite so you have your bedroom uh, a closet closets are a little small but they did do the some some shelving inputs there as well uh, but the closet size that's about what you're going to get on a house that was built this era unless they reconfigured another room or something now the bathroom they did a really good job here they put in an enlarged uh, tub so that tub is is pretty quite large they have dual sinks and they kept the same cabinets in here as well they added the privacy uh, tint for the windows And then the, uh, the shower area is quite cool because you turn it on there and there's no, uh, no lip or anything. You just walk right in and has the shower head and the draining right there. And then it also has a little wand. So pretty cool. Looks like they have, uh, potentially that does heated flooring. Okay, and then, so this is the secondary bathroom upstairs. Uh, has a full tub and shower. 
subway tile again and quartz countertops in here. And then this would be a secondary bedroom. Uh, you can see that across the street, they looks like they might have a remodel going potentially there and, a, and then they're building a new house there. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the view of what you would see outside the window. And then a closet, not quite really a walk-in closet, but it does have like a more traditional door. I really like the knobs, the handles that they put on these ones. Uh, they're, they feel a little bit different than most homes do when you're opening the door, so those are cool. And then let's see here. So now we'll go check out the downstairs. Stairs are a little steep, but not too bad. And then off to the right here, we have the laundry room area. So it has a nice new LG washer and dryer, which is great. It also has another farmhouse sink down here, stainless steel. We'll check that out in a second. Uh, I just want to show you the other side. There's another bedroom and a few more things over there. So the, these are a high gloss on the cabinets down here. Looks like it's the same cabinet company, so those are nice. And then they went with the high gloss down here as well. And it does have a, a full bathroom down here. So now we'll go check out this other bedroom. This is the third bedroom. And this one has a really cool view of the backyard. You can see that they did a, a really good job with the landscaping. I think that's one of, the, one of the big pluses here. I know that they didn't add in all of this landscaping. I know they added in a lot of it, but uh, that's one of the benefits about buying an older house is that you get the mature landscaping a lot of times, which is nice. And here's kind of the quasi walk-in closet and then we should have some more more storage under here always nice to have more storage and then what's cool about this one is that it actually has another living area down here so uh, you have a fireplace over there as well they tiled it out um, but yeah another great little living area And then, yep, you got millwork on top there. And then here's the one car garage. Uh, it does have a regular hot water heater. But yeah, we'll look outside to see if it has a gas line, but I don't see one connected to this. So I'm pretty sure that the property is electric. Um, but it does look like they redid some plumbing stuff. Uh, maybe they redid all the plumbing stuff. It looks like those are a lot of the stuff looks really new, so that's awesome. Okay, so let's go check out the backyard now. But yeah, for this area, I haven't noticed really hardly any traffic driving by this house in particular. I've noticed maybe a couple neighbors driving by, but that's about it. Okay, so we do have a nice uh, Trex decking material, newly installed. And then they kind of did a nice little modern design on the handrail. That's not metal, it's wood. They put little one by twos, which looks nice, but really, really, really lovely backyard. So they added in some trees and They also added a little retaining wall down there so they can maximize the kind of the hangout spot. Okay. 
And then they did the little pea gravel down here for this area. But again, everything looks really nice and it'd be nice if these hedges were just a little bit taller so we could get some additional privacy, but they'll grow with time. And we'll go check out the sides just real quick. I think I would have probably done something a little different here than just the pea gravel. Um, obviously this one's being done kind of as an investment purpose. They did a great job on the on the renovation, but I would have, if it was my house personally, I would have loved to have like the, maybe like the big square concrete pavers and then maybe like either the pea gravel in between or some grass or moss or something like that. But all in all, they did a really good job on this. And then, yep, so just the fence area over here. And then also something cool to note out is that they, with older houses, they have really big overhangs, which is nice, especially in Washington, because it keeps the water away from the, away from the house. But yeah, all in all, this seller did a, did a great job uh, with the renovation, getting everything nice and ready to go. Yeah, so no gas here. It is just an electric uh, for the property. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this tour. If you guys wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, that helped me out a lot. And if you have any questions on this house or any other houses that you want to take a look at, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll put my contact information in the description below. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.